Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Coming down to Hamcation, I got the opportunity to experience something that I'd never experienced before. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So on my travels down to Orlando, I passed within 15 minutes of an HRO and I thought it would be, well, pretty much a crime not to stop when I was that close and I'd never been to one of their stores. So I decided to dive in there for just a few minutes and thought you guys might enjoy the experience as well, just in case you've never been to one. What was I surprised by? Well, it was a whole lot smaller than I expected. Let's get to the video. Okay, so let's go inside and see what this is all about. My very first experience to Ham Radio Outlet. So, kind of cool walking in. Let's take a quick look around and see what we can see here. We'll just start walking towards the left wall. Looks like a whole wall of antennas back here. Any kind of antennas that you need. Looks like some antenna mounts over here on the shelf. And yeah, a whole host of antennas. Man, look at the coax. Let's see if I can get you guys down here so you can get a shot of that. So there's coax there. There's more coax stacked up over here. All sorts of coax. And literally an entire wall of antennas. So guys, if you're near one of these, definitely stop by Ham Radio Outlet and check it out. This is uh, pretty cool for a first experience. Let's walk back here and check out some of this. We'll get around to the radios in just a second. But yeah. So it looks like they got just about anything you want here. So now here's what everybody wants to see and that's the radios. So hey, there's a 705. I've got one of those. And back up and kind of get you guys a sweeping shot of this. Hey, this is another fantastic radio right here. The FT2980R by Yezu. I run a couple of those. One for a Winlink Gateway and another for an APRS Digipeter in the shack. So, ooh, there's the 991. I keep thinking I want one of these radios. I just haven't talked myself into one before. Here's the uh, 10DX beside it. So, ooh, a little 818 here on the shelf as well. Ooh, I like this one. Definitely a good POTA radio right there, the 891 by Yezu. So, all right, there's a 9700. Got all kinds of cool little radios here. So, nice setup that they've got here. Really, really nice setup. Ooh, there's the Tar Heel antenna over here. Absolutely love the little Tar Heel. I'm actually not familiar with this little guy down here. Check this out. I'm not familiar with that one. I run the little Tar Heel on the back of my Jeep. So, but very, very nice operating station they got here. Looks like you can sit down and uh, play with the radios if you want. Okay, so let's kind of take a look at the middle of the store here. And guys, just stacks and stacks of radios here. Looking for a 2300H by ICOM. You've got it. There's a, oh, that's the new uh, Yezu FTM 6000. So they've got uh, several of those in stock. Looks like the 2980. That's the radio I was telling you guys just a second ago that I run. That is a fantastic little two meter only rig. They've got a whole host of those if you need those. Looks like there's a couple of Kenwoods around here as well. Let's see, what else we got here? ICOM 718s. Hey, it looks like they got plenty of the 891s if you need one. And a whole stack of 705s. Guys, that is a really, really cool radio if you like QRP. Let's take a look at this here. 991s. 
Try not to make you guys sick here turning around too terribly much. There's some more ICOMs. And coax, coax, and more coax. If you need coax, they definitely have plenty of it in stock. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this little trip. That's my first experience to an HRO. I'm going to see if I can make a purchase here and get on out of this place and head on down to Orlando. We'll see you guys soon. 7-3.